Hey, it's time for another update. So this week we've uh, done a bit more on implementing the inventory and item system. We've introduced fireballs and magic scrolls and we wanted to try to introduce bombs that you could drop as well, but uh, we're getting there. So the first thing we've done is we've implemented a better system for when you pick up an item. So now when you pick up an item, you can press a button, I in our case, and you can see an inventory. And from that inventory, you can use your item. You can also drop items uh, using a drop item inventory as well. So the, as you can see, the items just get listed and you can press a button to remove it. This kind of inspired me. I figured from the tutorial, they're telling us how to do this, but I figured if a user drops an item, perhaps they could drop something like an explosive. So I wanted to introduce bombs, but uh, got a little bit tricky with the targeting system and the timer. So the item would have to be dropped, the timer set, and then it'd explode later on. The problem I ran into is the targeting system. I haven't set that up exactly as it needs to be yet. So you can use the items and the items such as the fireball has a targeting system. So when you click it, you can then use the mouse to move around and select the target you want to hit. And it also has an area of attack. So it will hit things around it as well. Pretty cool. So to achieve this, we have to add some new components and to update our inventory system. So it's a little bit more generic. Instead of having health potions take up the inventory, we have different items. And depending on the item, it will react in a certain way. When the user interacts with the use button on an item, it will change the state of the game as well to go into a state that allows you to use the item and to prevent play from continuing. So yeah, the only thing really is to figure out the targeting system. Currently it's hooked up to the position of the player and the, you know, who the who the player has targeted, but I want it to be, I want to have a separate system for when you plant an item and that the item explodes within a certain area of attack. Um, that's a little bit trickier, but I'll get around to it. So the only other change I've made besides all of this is uh, the health bar. Um, I've removed the HP at the bottom and just left the health bar as a red bar. I think it looks better and I think explicitly telling the user their health is... Uh, no, it's not necessary. The most exciting thing about this week is the fact that we can implement items in a generic way and we can do it quite quickly as well. So if anyone has any suggestions of some you know, potions or items they want to see in this, just let me know because right now I'm able to add them pretty straightforward. So. Yeah, this is where we start to get creative with things. Now that we have the foundation slowly being implemented, we can start to get creative with what we're putting into this game. That's where we're at currently. I think we're still ahead of the roguelike dev uh, tutorial each week. So yeah, we're making good progress. Um, next week, I might take a look at what some others are doing. I saw some interesting stuff being posted last week, so uh, definitely needs to be checked out. All right, that's it. Bye.